on the eviction night. It was like, <laughs> escape. <laughs> it wasn't that deep, was it? It really wasn't that deep. Hi, I'm Farida from Big Brother and I'm playing Side Eye with Cosmo UK. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. It was surreal, it really was surreal. I mean, the actual house inside is full of colour, full of architecture, so much to see, so much to, um, you know, the whole environment is just amazing. It is fantastic. Memories that I will cherish forever. Originally I applied on Big Brother because I really do do feel that Asian women are underrepresented. Well, the South Asian community is underrepresented in um, the uh, uh, on on TV in the media world. Um, I wanted to be, you know, um, inspiring people, especially like the fact that I'm Muslim, I'm from the South Asian background, I wear my hijab proudly, I wanted to educate people about Muslims um, that we're not suppressed just because we wear a headscarf, um, we've been through lots of life experiences, we're just normal people that also can have fun. There's no secrets, it was to build my profile and you know, I work with the traveling gypsy community, traveling right across the UK doing hair and makeup. Um, I'm hope, hopefully going to be offering training on hairstyling and makeovers. So this will give also the weight of my profile will help people that invest in training, you know, courses from myself. You know, there's 30,000 people that apply every year. And the fact that I was even given a week in that house was enough for me to say, I've ticked that box, it was great. Me and Kerry clashed a lot because in the real world, um, I would never entertain anybody. The minute Kerry actually came into the Big Brother race, I got the energy, the vibe, that she wasn't my kind of person that I would associate with my everyday life. I don't really like people that um, do a lot of backbiting. Um, she clearly was about um, making up stories, getting people to side with her, lying about certain things, you know, and I'm very, very focused in my everyday life when it comes to my work ethics, my business, and I really don't deal, deal with negative energy. I can't be doing with negative, I'm a very, very positive person. So as far as I was concerned, in my real life, I wouldn't have given her two minutes of my time. I um, wasn't scared to, like, opin you know, give my opinion on what I believed was right. Well, I'll be honest, I was absolutely surprised. Um, but that's what you find in the in this in this Big Brother Rose. One minute they're asking you, offering it you on, you know, and the next minute you have a piece, and then they go behind your back and have a good old chat about you. I learned that an awful lot, you know, I caught many a times people um, going beyond my back, they obviously weren't, you know, they couldn't say it to my face, so they'd go beyond my back and create nonsense, and, um, you know, in my culture, you actually share from a plate, it's actually part of my faith, sharing food off the same plate is actually part of my religion, it's, you know, a good practice, and this was about um, learning about different people's cultures. So I, personally, I did nothing wrong. It wasn't that deep, was it? It really wasn't that deep. I'd do it again and again and again. Maybe she can learn that caring, sharing is caring. Part of my culture is to, hospitality is a big thing in the Asian community. When people come to my house, they don't need an invite. The pots are open for everyone. During my eviction, everybody, a lot of the housemates went towards Kerry. Quite frankly, I wouldn't want any fakeness um, surrounding me. Um, the truth is, uh, I mean, even during the eviction, Kerry said to me, oh, let's play happy families and sit next to each other. I was thinking, I don't think so, darling. Not, not 
today. Definitely not happy to sit next to you. I'm quite happy to sit next to Zach, who, you know, respected me an awful lot and the people that I've surrounded myself with. Um, I'm just true to myself. I wouldn't want fakeness. I just couldn't wait to get out of there. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't even want the hugs. I just wanted to run. <laughs> Escape. Freedom. The person that, the male that I was closest to in the house would be definitely Zach. He had an awful lot of respect for me and he called me auntie he was just like he actually told me that if i would if i ended up leaving that he would really really miss me and if there was a female it would be chanel chanel's a really nice girl really level-headed very respectful and many times she came over to me and said when trish had a go at me for example and she came over to me and said farida because chris had sided with kerry just to make Kerry feel comfortable because Kerry was crying. So, um, Chanel came over to me and said, Farida, I felt really uncomfortable the way um, you were treated by Trish. It felt very, very uncomfortable. It felt not nice. So yeah, Chanel's a lovely girl and Zach. The one thing that I hope that um, the housemates actually I hope they actually do do some research on me because when I said to um, Kerry that my videos go viral I wasn't joking when I said to her that I had made a success of my business I was not joking you only need to go on to my TikTok page and learn lots of stuff about me and you will see how authentically genuine I am that's what makes you successful when you are real. I ha I've been practicing my uh, business for 23 years. It has gone from strength to strength. And the reason why has it gone st from strength to strength? Because I'm humble, I keep it real, and I am authentic, yeah? And another thing that I'll learn is, there's none of this take one, take two, take three, where I haven't got time for that because I've got a busy lifestyle. When you see my videos, you will see that they are what you see is what you get with the videos and they're that authentic it's the first time I've actually filmed them and they go out and as a result they go viral the viewers might um, the whole process is really really long you know they go into great depth before the actual contestants the, um, the housemates go into the actual house and um, there's a whole process that you have to go through from psychologists from medicals from interviews from filling out forms it is a whole process to be honest I, I was approached by one of the casting crews that spotted me on um, on one of my TikTok live streams however I don't think people realize and that's you know the depth that you have to go through to actually get on the program and i um that was one of my celebrations in itself that you know celebrate that there's thirty thousand people the 16 positions and you've got that prestige position it's such an iconic legendary moment and it was the first time big brothers coming back after five years that's why I wanted to make sure when I actually left, I made it like iconic and memorable that people will remember me um, when I left. You're living on like four or five hours sleep every night because you don't, there's no, I mean, I had my own personal clock, but you're on a constant high. You're not sleeping till about four in the morning and then they're waking you up at half past nine in the morning and then you're doing, you know, lots of tasks and loads and loads of, it's just a surreal environment what was my favorite part of the big brother experience i think it's got to be the fact that when i think about some of the tasks and some of the some of the things that we did like yimlands um wonderful hairstyle leaning to the side or you know just um or um you know when jenkins had his 
bag removed, a bag removed, and he got, he got certain tasks, and uh, he just kept getting, you know, more and more removed, and I just could not stop the belly laugh. I was laughing in a hysterical way, and you know, these moments are priceless. Where even now, today, I was discussing it, and I was laughing about it. That's just brilliant honestly what's the biggest lesson that i've learned in the house is don't ever compromise your um energy <laughs> for money because the truth is there can be plenty of brand opportunities there's plenty of other opportunities don't just focus it on the prize and um, for me I, that's why i was celebrating i felt like the time that i did it served the purpose and I wouldn't have really liked to have stayed in that house um, because I'm a firm believer in if something uh, messes with your positive energy, stay well clear, which is what I did by running out of that on the eviction night. It was like, <laughs> escape. <laughs> I think just for the comedy and... Um, the person's personal development and how I've sort of seen them excel. I'd say Yinran, because I just think she's such a, I mean, I love Zach as well, but if it's for pure entertainment and how they've, you know, excelled, you know, she's just so funny, um, I would say Yinran for the win. Thanks for watching.